We're all doomed. The planet's going to hell in a handcart. We keep getting told that global warming is unstoppable, and we might just as well put a bag over our heads and give up now. Asia has to take more than its fair share of stick when it comes to greenhouse gases. It's come late to the industrialization party, but since it arrived, it's been hogging the dance floor and eating all the dips. That's because Asia has become the world's factory, and that means loads more emissions. But as a continent that's changing faster than you can blink, it's also the natural home for a special group of people who aren't tied down by conventional thinking. They're scientists and activists, movers and shakers, and they're coming up with some unexpected, even crazy solutions to the problems we all face. The world live in crowded cities. So rather than building from scratch, some change makers are looking at the materials we build with. A rooftop in Taipei. This is the site of Professor Chin Huai Young's most important experiments, ones that he hopes will save an endangered species the steel and glass skyscraper. Tall buildings are the hallmark of Asia, but in the tropical regions, under the steady burn of the sun, they're like hothouses inside another very big hothouse. In other words, they're really, really hot. And the only way to make them more comfortable is by expending masses of energy, mostly in the form of air conditioning. While the obvious answer to this problem with skyscrapers would be, well, not to build them in the first place. At the rate that Asia's urbanizing, there's not a lot else you can do. Professor Young's research is devoted to making life inside these glass buildings more energy efficient. So here on the roof of Taiwan's University of Science and Technology, He's built some little houses. Not that they look very like skyscrapers. The walls are insulated almost perfectly to allow the actual test material to be put through its paces. The ordinary house features normal window glass for comparison. But the special house boasts Professor Young's so-called miracle glass. Down in the lab, we can see that the glass is a thick multi-layered cluster thingy. Looks complicated and clever. Go on. So what exactly does it do? To put it another way, there are three layers. The first is the insulating vacuum. Combined with tinting, it blocks out up to 90% of infrared radiation, or the sun's heat. The next layer is a see-through silicon film that generates electricity. Effectively, it's turning all your windows into a power source. Finally, for the lazier amongst us, a further bonus. The glass actually cleans itself. On the right, normal glass. The water forms droplets that stick. On the left, 
Miracle glass. A thin layer of titanium dioxide actually breaks down dirt. The rainwater spreads evenly across the surface and carries off the loosened dirt, not even leaving a smear. Of course, there's a snag. This stuff is going to be expensive. Currently, a one square meter concrete block with a miracle glass panel in it would set you back 600 US dollars. That would come to a pretty hefty bill over a mega skyscraper like Taipei 101. The professor is hoping to cut the cost by up to two thirds, at which point it'll become competitive with other building materials. Until the glass becomes more affordable though, there are only plans for demonstration buildings. One of these is to be a temple. This is the only place in the world to use a wall that is a glass temple. So, when it is used in its roof, it can create energy in the roof. And it can reduce the heat of the roof. The other thing is that if it is used in a wall that is very cold, then it will not be so cold. So, it is very good to use it in their roof. Fancy technological glass may not actually bring you any closer to heaven. But Professor Young hopes at least it'll make our lives on Earth a little greener. So, I have this wall of flowers, to make the problem of the Earth's surface, to make the rains not so fast, and to make some of the lower countries not be affected by the rain. It will also save a lot of people in the world. This is the most happy place. 